Hey everyone, welcome back to DIY Biotech. Today I'm going to be telling you about an incredibly simple procedure for finding the lactose content in foods. It only takes about 15 minutes, most of that time is waiting for reactions to occur, and about $15 in supplies. Uh, no, no crazy lab equipment is needed here. This procedure is important because about 65% of the world's population has some sort of lactose intolerance. And so by knowing how much lactose is in certain foods, we could potentially alleviate a lot of discomfort from a lot of people. Additionally, the science behind this process is simple as well. Lactose is a disaccharide sugar, meaning it's made out of two monosaccharide sugar subunits, namely galactose and glucose. And, and galactose and glucose have a, have a love for each other. They, they, they've got a bond between each other. But unfortunately, the enzyme lactase I uh, had recently gone through a, a, a particularly bad breakup and so, you know, he, he just couldn't stand to see the love that glucose and galactose have for each other. And so he, he started talking some smack behind their backs and he, he told galactose that glucose had been seeing acute X uh, fructose and uh, galactose knew this wasn't true and that Glucose really did have a love for him, but you know, it, it still upset him enough to, to raise his voice. And, and, and Galactose knows that Glucose hates it when Galactose raises his voice, but he did it anyway and they got in the fight and that was the end of that. They, they broke up. So anyway, now we have two sugar subunits galactose and glucose, as well as a still active lactase enzyme, which can go on to produce other breakups. I mean, catalyze more reactions. So now that we know that lactose breaks down into glucose and galactose, then we can apply this principle to this test. So these are all of the things that you need for this test. This is literally everything you need. Uh, it's very straightforward. You need the lactase enzyme, in this case I'm using some name brand lactate, but there's droppers and uh, a lot of different kinds of lactase enzyme that you can buy. This works well for me. The other sort of special piece of, a, of supply that you'll need are these, which are glucose test strips. I believe I got these from Jeff Bezos for about $7 for the whole pack, and there's 50 strips in the pack, so, you know, it's very cheap per test. And so what this is going to tell us is how much glucose is present after we break down the lactose. So we're breaking down the lactose into glucose and galactose with this lactase enzyme, and then we're gonna measure the glucose. And from the glucose, then we can calculate how much lactose was originally in our food product. Uh, and so the important thing to note here is there's going to originally be twice as much lactose as there is glucose, because again, we're splitting the lactose into two subunits. So the glucose that we measure, we need to then multiply by two to get how much lactose is in our product. The last two things you need are whatever you want to test. In this case, I'm just using some whole milk and then a container to hold the reaction. And, you know, I'm using a, a 30 milliliter uh, uh, self-standing centrifuge tube. You can use you know, a mug if you want. It doesn't have to be fancy. So I've previously prepared this crushed lactase pill. You know, you can use a mortar and pestle if you have one. I just used the back of a screwdriver. <laughs> so, you know, whatever boats your float. We're gonna add a little bit of our sample to our container. If you're testing, you know, something like a yogurt or something like that, then you might need to dilute it with water so that the reaction happens uh, in a liquid just because the enzyme can get around a little bit easier if you do that that's perfectly fine but make sure you understand how much you're diluting your product by so if you add you know 10 milliliters of yogurt plus 10 milliliters of water then you need to multiply your final calculated lactose concentration by two to get the final product concentration so we have the product that we want to test and we're going to add some of this lactase enzyme you really only need maybe a third or a half of a pill per about 
cup of product that you're testing. Uh, this enzyme is, is, is pretty active, um, but if you use more, it's, it's not going to be an issue. Um, so I'm shaking it up here just to mix the enzyme around. Uh, I will note that this milk is cold right now, so the reaction is going to happen a bit slower. Uh, but I found even with cold milk, uh, the reaction can occur within five minutes. Five minutes is plenty of time to, to measure the, the glucose. So I'm going to start a timer now, wait five minutes, shake it every now and then just so you know everything's evenly mixed, and then we'll measure the glucose. All right, so it's been about five or six minutes now. This is what the glucose test strips look like. They have a little yellow square on the end, and the idea is you dip it in, move it around a little bit, dab off the excess on the side, and then let it react. So this packet here says that it takes two or three minutes, depending on what you're testing, to find the glucose levels. In my experience, however, <laughs> they're not very good, or maybe you know this pack that I have just happens to be old, because it takes about 10 minutes and uh, yeah, on the Amazon reviews, other people have said it takes about 10 minutes for the real the, for the results to actually show. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes for this trip to react, and we can see now that we have somewhere between 1,000 and 3,000. What are these stupid units? Milligrams per deciliter. This is 30 grams per liter, this is 10 grams per liter, so on and so forth. So we have somewhere between 10 and 30 grams per liter. So that means we have somewhere between 20 and 60 grams per liter of lactose. Again, we have to multiply by two. So another thing to note is that the resolution of this test is not fantastic. You can definitely tell if there's no lactose and if there is lactose, but Getting beyond that is a little difficult. You could do some dilution, some serial dilutions, uh, and then measure the uh, glucose content of all of those dilutions, and then maybe get a closer approximation of the actual content. Uh, that would be really cool to do for like a beer, like if you have a if you have a, a stout that you really like, you could potentially find how much lactose they're putting in that beer if you want to recreate the recipe or, or something along those lines. So anyway, that's all the information I have for today. I don't know if this is a brand new technique. Uh, I'm not confident enough to claim that I invented this, but I haven't seen any other information on the internet on uh, using this technique in, in, in this way. Um, but if you liked the video or if you learned something or, or you know, if you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe. It, it, it really helps a lot. In the next video, I'll be making my own lactase pills. So if you want to see more content like that, please stick around and, and uh, that video will come out shortly. So thanks for watching again. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.